feature of CC Illustrator that includes dynamic symbols. Now, you had static symbols before, now you've got dynamic symbols. Now, what you can do, I'm just going to quickly select this very basic design, but of course, it could be a much more complex design, maybe a map or an interface, layout, whatever. But, got this design here, and I'm just going to drag it over to the symbols. And there, it's got symbols options, comes up now with, and the default is actually a dynamic symbol. You've got static symbol there, which of course is the old star. So dynamic symbol, click OK. Now, once you've actually got that, I'm just going to remove that now. And you can see over there in the symbols palette, you've got a little symbol there. And there's a little plus that indicates that it's dynamic. D would have been better, but a uh, little plus sign. Now, to actually use it, just quickly just drag the symbol back. And I'm going to create one or two there. I'm just going to resize that a bit. And I'm going to drag another one over as well. Uh, just doesn't have to be the same size, it can be whatever size you want, the vectors. So, now what you can do with dynamic symbols is just select that. Now, just use it as before, but if you actually go over here to the direct selection tool, and you can actually just go select there. Now this has a tendency sometimes, if you've actually got the whole thing selected, you can't actually select it particularly easily, but you can just deselect and then select again. You can actually just select there, and then you see the green over here, so that's red, and then that's blue. Now, what that means is you can actually change the individual parts. So you've got blue over here. Now, what I can do, if I decide, I can just change that blue to maybe a darker blue, and I can go over to this one as well, over here, and say this design, maybe have that as orange. So again, you can just quickly change that. So both sides, and the key thing here, the master symbol is totally unaffected. Now, I'm gonna do other videos where I'll show you various changes that you can make, but so that's just a basic setup here. So I select that red and I can go there again and maybe make that pink. Now, there's other effects you can actually change. So I'm just gonna select there the green. Say you want that to be like blurred. So I've selected that bit, the outer bit there. And you can just go to effects and I'm just going to go say for blur and again I'm going to do a future video showing other effects there. Set the preview on and you can see that's blurred at that point. So all those effects, I haven't tried them all, maybe not all of them, but certainly they should all be available to be modified per simple instance. So again, unaffected here, unaffected over here as well. So you can create different designs based on the same symbol design and that's the key thing. Now what you can also do and another thing you can do is just go here, select in, say that one, the red one. You can actually modify the stroke. Um, just bring the stroke palette up here. And so you can make the width, you can see, just set the width there, maybe make it, again, unaffected over here, unaffected here as well. Now you've got width profile, so you can actually set those. So that changes as well, again, different from that. And also you can do other things such as brushes, and again, that's, for a future video. So really, really nice new feature of Illustrator CC 2015.2. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you very much.